Temperatures continue to drop outside. A local body shop owner tells us that they're expecting to have more work as drivers hit deer. Mitch Carter's here after talking with them and AAA about what things are looking like on the road this year. Randy, I went to Bartley's Paint and Body Shop here in Evansville, who actually had a car out back that had just been hit by a deer. He says it's not their first of the season, and it definitely won't be their last. But, you know, you can see the fur. It's deer season in Indiana, and not just for those looking to bag a buck, but also for those looking to avoid them on the roads. So this time of year is usually when we start trying to prep and, and make sure that, you know, we've got open locations for tow ins and, and things of that nature. Bartley's paint and body shop owner Kevin Calhoun says they've already seen vehicles that have hit deer and they don't expect it to slow down. When deer start running, we will start getting an in, uh, influx in tow ends of non-drivable vehicles just like the one you see here. This was a deer hit that was, you know, of course, struck from the front. Um, this is the biggest, the biggest components of things like this. You know, you got all the, all the different, the lights and the electronics. Hitting a deer can leave a dent in more than just your car. In 2022, AAA spokesperson Nick Chavaria says the median price for repair cost was $6,466. Those numbers aren't calculated for 2023 just yet, but Chabaria says it's not likely they went down. So AAA is urging people to be careful and check to see if their insurance covers them if they hit a deer. You know, typically between the middle of October, you know, all the way through January, uh, we know that deer are uh, moving as they're in their mating season, and that of course can create some hazards, additional hazards with the time change. There's uh, less daylight hours, so it makes it a little bit harder to see in the mornings and the evenings. Uh, now is the time that, that motorists really need to be extra cautious for uh, deer on the roadways. Well, Calhoun says what's different about this year isn't the deer. They're always around. But the impact the UAW strike might have on getting your car back on the road after an accident. All the local vendors are doing the best that they can do. But at the end of the day, what they have on their shelves is all they have the availability to get unless they can find another vendor that's willing to sell it to them. What we keep hearing from all the manufacturers is they don't have the raw materials to make things. So you might have the plastic to make this outer part, but they might not have the boards or the chips um, to make the rest of the, the, the electronic board that to make this operate. With peak rutting season quickly approaching, a UAW strike with subsequent part shortages and increased costs for repairs, Calhoun says local body shops could be looking at a long deer season. As the strike goes forward, we're seeing less and less parts available. More and more things are going on back order. However, he says if you're in an accident, all hope is not lost. Calhoun says he and other shops will continue working with what they have to get you back on the road as soon and as painless as possible. Well, Chavaria tells me they should be releasing their updated repair cost estimates for 2023 within the next week. You can find AAA's tips on safe driving during deer season as well as what you can do after an accident over on 14news.com.